in case you didn't see my previous video, I am eight weeks out from my next show. I feel super good about the show that I just did. However, I just feel like I can bring a leaner package than what I brought. Um, I only had three weeks to really dial things in. And like I said, I think I looked the best I've ever looked on stage. However, there's things I want to tweak. One of them is I want to come in mad lean. Um, with that being said, I've decided to totally change my workout routines because I do not need size, I just need cuts. Um, so at this point, I've decided to do um, lower weights, high reps, and then really no breaks in between. So instead of doing a sit still for 30 to 45 seconds in between sets, I'm doing a cardio core work for today's so anyway. It'll change. So for instance, today um, I started out doing a bench press. So um, I've also decided I'm gonna try to do most of my routines here at the house. Um, again, it just goes back to I'm a terrible vlogger because I have nobody to go to the gym with me and record me. So trying to find places to place my phone or place the camera uh, to where it doesn't look awkward and creepy at the gym uh, to record for you, I'm just not good at that. <laughs> So I'm just going to do, try to do as much of it as I can here at the house with the equipment that I have and just deal with the heat because it is really hot in my gym. Maybe my husband will feel guilty, saddened, whatever. Maybe he'll buy me one of those little portable swamp coolers <laughs> that they have at Lowe's. Here's my new baby begging face. That was really an ugly face actually. <laughs> anyway, start out with bench press. Um, I started out with just the Olympic bar, so the bar itself weighs 45 pounds, and then I threw on um, tins onto it, um, so it made it 65 pounds. I did a set of nine, and then I followed it immediately up with 30 seconds worth of mountain climbers on the floor in a plank position. Then immediately got back into it, did nine more, so I ended up doing four sets of nine on the bench press and four sets of 30 second intervals of the mountain climbers in between. Um, so again, I actually started out with 10s, then I went to 15, 20, and it ended up with 25 pound plates. So I ended up using 95 pounds, so I'm a little saddened by that. Um, I didn't really calculate as I was going, uh, so I went a little bit light because I didn't know what to expect so much with doing uh, sets of 9 to 11, so, uh, or reps, reps I should say. So I was concerned that I might get fatigued, but I know for next time I put little up arrows so that I can go up in my weights next time I do this. Then I go over and I did the incline uh, dumbbell press. I have two benches. I utilized my other bench that was over here just because it was already set. I could easily set it up real fast. So again, this time I'm doing three sets of nine. I started out with 25 pound dumbbells. Then I went to 35 and then 35. I was supposed to do sets of nine, but the first set with 25 was way too light. So I ended up doing 15 reps on it. Um, instead of the nine reps. And then when I use 35 pounds, it's the heaviest dumbbells I have. Um, I wish I had a set of 40s um, at least, but I don't. So maybe, maybe my husband will sneak a set of 40s home. You know, maybe. I don't think he ever really listens to my videos when I talk anyway. I think he just watches me working out and then that's it. Maybe he'll listen. Anyway, so I ended up doing those. I ended up following in between each uh, set. I did 45 seconds of high knees in running in a standing position. So you stand up and you just run in position uh, and try to keep your knees up to at least waist level. Again, this is going to work your lower abdominal area. That's my weakest area for me is going to be my lower core. So I really want to try to focus on that. Um, so again, I would do an incline dumbbell press and then straight into the high knees, straight back into my next set, and then back and forth, doing three sets of each. I went over to my Body Solid machine, um, which I still haven't done my review of my Body Solid machine. <sighs> it's another video. I'm telling you, I'm a terrible vlogger. Anyway, a decline, um, you're supposed to do it 
It's supposed to be with like a Smith machine, but I decided to do it with, like I said, the body solid machine. So I put my uh, bench at a complete decline, decline position. I locked my bars in to where they're at the lowest position that they could go. And I started out using 10, then I did 15, and then I did 20s. Um, again, I put a little arrow for up. I was not sure how it would feel with this today, since it's been about a week really since I've worked out. Um, so I went a little light. I need to move them up. In between, I did 30 seconds worth of Heisman's. Heisman's are basically uh, where you put all your weight on one leg and the opposite leg is up, so it's working your obliques and you're going to lean towards that side, side a little bit. And then you're going to hop over to that opposite leg and then move the other leg up. And you go back and forth, back and forth. So you're really going to get a great um, oblique workout on that. So again, some of my weaknesses. Uh, 30 seconds for those in between each. You're doing three uh, three total sets. Again, doing uh, 9 to 11. I stuck with 9 today on everything. And then I went over and I did dips on my rogue system that I have over by my squat rack. 9 is the magic number with strict form. I did review uh, the first set that I did and noticed that I was not going completely down in all of them. I went shy. So I was able to fix that form a little bit and just really concentrate on going all the way down without putting too much of the pressure on the front of your shoulders. You want to feel it really in, in your um, triceps here. Um, so watch your form on that. If you don't have a dip station, you can always do chair dips if you need to, um, if you're at a home gym. But I had the dip station, so that's what I utilized. Again, it is this time you're going to do four sets of nine and in between these I did step ups and um, again I would start with my left leg as my step up foot and then the next time I did it I would step up with my right first and then I switched back and forth so they were getting equal love there. Um, again I did this one for one minute just because it's a little bit slower paced because it takes you a little bit longer to get up and down than it would to do like Heisman or some of the other moves that we were doing. So I did one full minute of this uh, per thing. So again, it's four sets of nine of your dips. After you complete a set of dips, go immediately into your step ups for one minute, immediately back into your dips. You actually find that you're fatigued because you're doing your cardio in between. So your heart rate keeps jumping up and when you're doing your weightlifting, it kind of gives you a little bit of a break to bring it down. So it's like doing a hit cardio session all at the same time. So I enjoyed that because now I don't have to jump on the elliptical for 30 minutes. I already did my cardio. So you need to be sure that you're pushing yourself in between. Um, and then the last thing I did, I did a um, close grip bench press. I started out with um, 15, uh, 15 reps with just the bar, but again it was too light. So then I went up and I added fives. 15, and then the last set I did, I did 15 again with a set of uh, 10s. So I did bar, 5, 10, and then, oh, I did 4 sets. And then the very last set I did, um, I did 20, or no, 15. Yeah, so the bar, now I've confused you, just the bar, and I did 15 reps. Then I did two fives, like one on each side, for a set of 15. I did a 10 pound plate for 15 and then I ended up using 15 pounds per side uh, for a set of 15 on the last one. I just forgot to write it in but I'm looking at my bar and that's what I did. Um, so again, four sets of 15 on those, that's the highest numbers. It's because um, I really want to shred out. <laughs> I had said that I carried my weight in my arms and that's where I carry it. And then I also have tattoos on my arms and so it kind of camouflages any cuts that I do have. So I really need to shred that arm out so I really want to do high reps, low weight. And that's why I chose as one of my weakest points is my um, tricep in my delt area. This is one of my weakest areas. So that's the reason I'm doing what I do. So I would do a set of the um, close grip bench press and I would go immediately into in and out core um, while sitting on the bench. Um, and I did that for one minute of core. Woo -woo. And then just try to concentrate on um, bringing the leg up, not so much in, if that makes sense. Because I started out doing it where I would bring the legs in and crunch. 
but I wasn't feeling it in the lower abdominal area, which is where I wanted it. So that's when I switched it up and started doing it where I was doing more of a leg raise um, with it. And that was the end of today's routine. Um, I felt really good with today's routine. It was a bit long because you are doing the cardio in between. Um, if you do, you're going to get roughly between, um, I would say roughly between 20 to 30 minutes of cardio in between, depending on how many minutes or seconds you do of the cardio in between your sets. Um, again, it's just that way you don't have that rest period, but you do have a rest period, if that makes sense. So like, while you're doing your, your rest, you're resting your chest while you're doing your core. You're resting your core while you're doing your chest. You're getting your cardio in during that time when your chest is uh, relaxing. So that way um, you're able to continue to go, but your, your heart rate's continually doing this. And that's what I'm going for. So we'll see. Um, I think I work out, the new program that I'm on, I'm gonna be working out six days a week with one off day. But on the off day, I'll be doing just straight up cardio. Um, also, my nutrition has changed a little bit. I'm fixing to go to the grocery store right now, and I will uh, show you some of my meals once I get done prepping them. But uh, pretty basic meals. Not a whole lot to prep this time because I'm going to be filling it in with some different stuff. Um, I'm changing I'm changing a little bit of stuff, to be honest with you. I'm doing about 1.5 grams of protein uh, per pound of weight and 1.5 grams of carbs per body weight and 0.5 grams of fat per pound of body weight right now. Um, I'm going to be consuming roughly 2,500 calories on my, well, 2,400, somewhere around there, calories per day, one day a week. Um, that's on my off day. And then on my on days, I'll be consuming about 2,600 calories uh, on my workout days. But again, most of the calories that I'm going to be consuming are going to be coming from my proteins and my carbs. My fats are still staying pretty low. Um, but I'm trying to keep as much muscle as I can. I will be tailoring it. I'm breaking it down into three phases. So um, my, my numbers will drop um, steadily for this next eight weeks. I think I'm going to do this one for probably two weeks. And then, uh, and then I'll probably change it every week, bring my numbers slowly down. Um, and then on peak week, then I will not mess with a thing this peak week. This peak week. I don't even think I'm going to uh, do any drying out, but I'll see where I'm at. Truly, 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 if your body is where you need it to be, um, for the week before your show, you don't need to do any of that manipulation because you'll be lean enough. Your muscles will be where they need to be. Um, so you don't need on any of that little stuff. Um, but I haven't, I have yet to be where I need to be. Um, I've been pushing myself and it's always better just to push for a better version of yourself every time. So that's what I'm going for. So hopefully I can drop some more fat. Again, my goals for my fat is going to be to define my core more, I want to bring in my waistline a bit more because I do have a wider waistline than what I normally have. Again, it goes back to um, I'm not wearing a squeam. I haven't worn a squeam since my very first competition. Um, so I do have a blocky, I have no hips. I go like this. So in order to try to compensate for that, I'm going to be doing more uh, oblique work and a little bit more core work to try to bring all that in to find it out more. I want to come in leaner in my arms to where I have better definition because I have good size. I just don't have the cuts. Genetics or not, I don't know. We'll see in the next eight weeks how I lean out. I hope you follow along uh, on my journey and uh, I'll keep you posted. Like I said, I'm going to try to do all my workouts here just about so that way you can see everything. So we'll see you in a little bit. I got to do my food and I'll show you a bit of that. Maybe in another video. Maybe I'll do that one separately. Because I think this one's going to be long because my interview. Anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.